On the evening of Friday, October 13th, the undefeated Lake Orion Dragons hosted the 2-5 and five Farmington Falcons during homecoming. The start of the game was delayed about an hour due to a widespread power outage earlier in the day. During Lake Orion's first drive of the game, the Dragons have the ball on Farmington's 22, facing a second and four. Quarterback T.R. Hill is under center. He takes the snap and hands off to Billy Roberson, who runs into a crowd of defenders, but takes it outside and goes into the end zone for the first score of the game. The Hoffman PAT was good, and the Dragons are up 7-0 with 11 minutes left in the first. On the Dragons' next drive, Hill is in shotgun on Farmington's 30, facing first and 10. He takes the snap, keeps it, follows his blockers, and drags a defender into the end zone for the TD. The point after was no good, but the Dragons extended their lead 13-0 with 7.29 left in the first. On the Dragons' third drive of the first quarter, it's first and goal on the sixth. Hill is under center and hands off to Ray Payne, who goes wide right and scampers into the end zone untouched. The PAT was good, and the score is 20-0 with just under five minutes left in the first. Let's go to the second quarter. The Falcons are threatening to score from Lake Orion's 12-yard line. On second and nine, quarterback Julian Johnson is in shotgun. He fakes the handoff, rolls left, and hits Owen Madison in the end zone for the score. The Falcons are on the board. It's 20 to seven, Lake Orion. With 1.15 left in the half, the Dragons are facing a first and goal on the 15. Hill is in shotgun, he takes the snap and scrambles. He sees an opportunity down the sideline and takes off, reaching the end zone. A successful two-point conversion makes the score 28 to seven Dragons with under a minute to go in the half. But before the half can end, the Falcons get a first and 10 on their own 37 following a Lake Orion penalty. Julian Johnson is picked off by Peyton McIntyre, who returns it to the 23. <laughs> on second and seven from the 20, Hill finds a wide open Billy Roberson in the end zone for Lake Orion's fifth touchdown of the first half. Lake Orion 35, Farmington 7. At halftime, the homecoming court was introduced to the crowd. Returning to Dragon Stadium were last year's King and Queen, Nick Noose and Grace Sullivan, who were instructed to crown the 2023 King and Queen, Mario Barishai and Dory Suhai. All right, tell me what's going through your head. A lot of things. Uh, it's cold. I'm chilly. What about you? Uh, my hands are feet are numb. I didn't think we would win. I'm excited, though. What was your reaction when you heard your name submitted? I don't even remember. I just no thoughts are running through my brain. I don't think. Mine was oh my god. <laughs> I just really you want to say to your classmates? Thank, thank, thank you so much. This is amazing. Voted. And thank you to the performing arts program. Yes, it, it, thank we you so appreciate much. it a lot. Thank you. So much. Uh, thank you. Let's get back to the game. With 9.46 left in the third, the Dragons have a first and 10 on their own 37-yard line. Hill is under center. He hands off to Billy Roberson, who goes up the middle and turns on the Jets on his way to a 63-yard touchdown. The extra point was good, and that's how the game would end, 42-7 Dragons. With the win, the Dragons improved to 8-0 on the season. They travel to Saline on October 20th to wrap up the season. Then they find out who they're hosting in the first round of the playoffs on October 27th. From Dragon Stadium, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV News.